What were your impressions of the scrimmage? Well, I really wasn't a scrimmage. Uh, it was uh, parts of the uh, live part of certain practices, maybe about 20 minutes. So the intensity was pretty good, I think, on both sides. And they saw some good, some bad. You know, the young guys are still making some mistakes that don't get corrected. But I like the attitude of the guys so far. Matt talked a lot on Monday just about how fast everything was going. And you were trying to get plays in like six seconds, stuff like that. Is there like a number in your mind or you just want to run? No, I don't know. No, I never really looked at the number, but there are, you know, we're trying to play, you know, faster um, uh, than probably they're accustomed to a little bit. Um, and then, you know, with different personnel groups, and that's all part of who we are. And it's going to be who we are going forward, too. So our, you know, one, it'll help us get in better shape, and I think two, also it it uh, it'll give our guys some confidence uh, as far as our conditioning level is concerned when we play games. What are some of the challenges just with that speed, with where you guys are now? Well, when you, particularly the young guys, you don't want to sacrifice fundamentals, and so sometimes when fatigue sets in, you know, fundamentally, both mentally and physically, you know, some of that'll slip, and we we got to do a good job of that as coaches and players and make sure that the fundamental part doesn't slip when we, uh, for, for in sacrificing tempo. So, but we're going to keep going hard and go fast, and, and our guys have, have done a pretty good job of it, but we still got a ways to go. What do you like about Kitterman's skill set is with regards to the move to tight end? Well, he's, uh, he had some other guys in front of him. He's a great young man. He's eager to play, and, and uh, for him to get a chance to get on the field, uh, the move was probably necessary, and he welcomed it. And got, like I said, he's got a great attitude. And you know, playing with multiple personnel sets is something we want to look at doing. Uh, and it really depends on if we have the type of guys we think we can win with, and we're giving him a shot there. Look, like y'all were working Michael Howard at left tackle today. Separately. Oh, were we? Yeah, you had to ask Jack about that. He's they're all over the place. We want. The guards would be able to play both sides. The tackles would play both sides. Some guards would be able to play center, and and uh, we we've got to find a combination. Not just who our five best are, but probably who our eight best are, and how those combinations will work. Rich, we've got, we've got uh, Elijah coming in here, and more coming in here in a minute. What's your impression of him this fall camp? Uh, he picked up right where he went in the spring. Uh, he's a competitor. He loves to play. He works extremely hard. It's really important to him, and. And he's like everybody else. Sometimes he presses a little bit and tries to do too much. Uh, but he's a really good player with a, with a great attitude. And uh, we don't have a lot of veterans. And it's hard to say that he's a veteran. But at the same time, he's played a little bit. And uh, he's one of the leaders of that group. And uh, he should have a big year for us. Thank you, Pat. What kind of camp has uh, Jonathan Mingo been having for you guys? Been really good. You know, the, one of the things, we knew the physical part was there when we recruited him. You know, he's a big, strong, fast guy, but he's picked things up uh, really well mentally. You know, the football part of it, it uh, he's worked really hard on that, and he's going to play. He's going to play an awful lot uh, as a true freshman. It may be starting, I don't know, but he's definitely going to be in the mix. I didn't see Jordan Jernigan out there today. Is he hurt? Yeah, banged up a little bit. I don't know if that's my deal to talk about, but we had a few guys out. But the good part of it is it looks like, you know, right now, you know, we'll have most of the guys ready for Memphis. What have you seen from the uh, backup quarterback since the last time we talked? Well, it's it's really uh, K.K. Dent got banged up a little bit, so really it's uh, John Rice Plumley and Grant Tisdale battling for that number two spot. And uh, Grant's got, you know, he's he was here in the spring, so he's probably ahead mentally. But John Rice is a really good athlete, and he's a really really smart guy. So uh, those two and and uh, and Matt are kind of splitting the rotation of reps and. Ones and twos, Matt mostly going with the ones, of course, but uh, it's, it's a good group to coach. Again, I sometimes forget that they're all true freshmen, and uh, this is all new to them. Uh, and even Matt, you know, he's played a little bit, but not a whole lot. But they've been great to work with.